everyone and welcome to another Worksheet Cloud Grade 2 English lesson brought to you by me, Mrs. Greenwood. We hope that you have a wonderful day today with us. And for anyone who's having their birthday today, have a glorious day. We hope you enjoy every minute of your birthday. If you have any questions after the lesson, please feel free to ask mom or dad to send an, an email to grade2 at worksheetcloud.com. But for now, let's begin our lesson. Children, today we are doing something slightly different. We are going to learn how to answer comprehension questions well. Now, quite often, the children in class only put one word as an answer. And today we're going to show you how to answer correctly in full sentences. And do you know that there is actually a recipe? Just like you have a recipe for baking a cake, there's a recipe for how to answer comprehension. So, step number one. Read through the story carefully. Step number two. Read through all the questions. Step number three. Read through the whole story again. And step number four. Answer the questions by reading the question and then look for the answer in the story. Be sure to answer the questions in full sentences. Now, a full sentence starts with a capital letter, and or you write the sentence, the answer, and then you have a full stop at the end. And that's what a full sentence means. You can't just say the cat, because that is not a full sentence. In a full sentence, you've also got to have a verb. Like the cat sat on the mat, if it asks you where the cat sat. So let's have a look at a, a story today. And as we're going through the story, I want you to picture it in your mind. Um, everything that we're talking about, because that way, when you get to the questions, if you've pictured it in your mind, it makes it easier to answer. Let's begin. Step one. Remember to read through the story carefully. Our story today is called Sid the Snail. So let's listen carefully. You can read with if you like. Sid the Snail. Sid was fed up with being just a snail. One day he decided to become a weather reporter. Picture it in your mind. He crawled outside, leaving a slimy trail behind him. At first, it was warm and sunny. He liked it. But soon, the grey clouds came, and it began to rain. Picture it in your minds. Sid had to quickly hide inside his shell. He didn't want to be a weather reporter anymore. The next day, Sid decided to become a postman. I can do this, he thought to himself. He set off carrying a bag full of letters and cards. Even though he was slow, he was really enjoying himself. But suddenly... He crawled over a nail. He was left in a lot of pain. So Sid decided he didn't want to be a postman anymore. Next he decided to become a sailor. He found a pale green boat and climbed inside. When he was out at sea, he saw an enormous whale who created a gigantic wave with his tail. Sid was covered in water when the waves splashed over his boat. Time to go, thought Sid. So Sid went home 
and decided, although he had a busy time, he would be most happy just being a garden snail. So, he decided he wanted to be a garden snail after all. Now remember, step number one was to read through the story carefully. Step number two was to, that's right, read through the questions. So let's read through the questions. Step number two is to read through the questions. Number one, where did Sid hide when it started to rain? Now, perhaps you can picture it in your mind already. Number two, what was in the bag that Sid carried when he was a postman? Number three, why did Sid not want to be a postman anymore? Hmm, think about it. Number four, what did Sid decide to do after he stopped being a postman? Remember, he did something. And then true or false. True means yes and false means no. Sid was a garden snail. Is that true or false? Sid found a bright green boat and climbed inside it. Is that true or false? At sea, a whale covered Sid in water. Is that true or false? <laughs> so we've done step one. We've read through the story. Step two, we've read through the questions. And now step three, it says we have to read through the whole story again. Children, this is very important because you actually forget what you read sometimes. So it's important to go back through the story because now you know the questions. Let's go through the story again. Sid was fed up with just being a snail. One day, he decided to become a weather reporter. He crawled outside, leaving a slimy trail behind him. At first it was warm and sunny, and he liked it. But soon the grey clouds came, and it began to rain. Sid had to quickly hide inside his shell. He didn't want to be a weather reporter anymore. The next day, Sid decided to become a postman. I can do this, he thought to himself. He set off, carrying a bag full of letters and cards. Even though he was slow, he was really enjoying himself. But suddenly, he crawled over a nail. He was left in a lot of pain. So Sid decided he didn't want to be a postman anymore. Next, he decided to become a sailor. He found a pale green boat and climbed inside. When he was out at sea, he saw an enormous whale who created a gigantic wave with his tail. Sid was covered in water when the waves splashed over his boat. Time to go, thought Sid. So Sid went home and decided although he had a busy time, he would be most happy just being a garden snail. So Sid was a garden snail, wasn't he? Step four, answer the questions in full sentences. And if possible, remember your capital letters are in green and your full stops are in red. Let's begin. Question one. Where did Sid hide when it started to rain? Now, I always say it's a good idea to use a little bit of your question in your answer. Where did Sid hide when it started to rain? Now, you can't just write he shall because that's not a full sentence. A full sentence has got to make sense. So let's go and look through the piece again. Where did Sid hide when it began to rain? Ah, Sid had to quickly hide inside his shell. That's right, some of you knew that. So where did Sid hide when it started to rain? We'll use a little bit of our 
question in the answer. Sid hid inside his shell. Well done! Some of you knew that already. Sid hid inside his shell. Question number two. What was in the bag that Sid carried when he was a postman? Now you can always go back to the comprehension to look. So let's go back and see if we can find what was in the bag. Ah, he set off carrying a bag full of letters and cards. So the question said, what was in the bag that Sid carried when he became a postman? The answer, Sid was carrying a bag that had letters and cards in it. Can you see that's a full sentence? I didn't just write letters and cards. That wouldn't have been a full sentence. Sid was carrying a bag that had letters and cards in it. Question 3. Why did Sid not want to be a postman anymore? Let's go back to our comprehension. Let's have a look through it. That's right. But suddenly he crawled over a nail. He was left in a lot of pain. So Sid decided he did not want he didn't want to become a postman anymore. Our question said, why did Sid not want to be a postman anymore? Sid did not want to be a postman anymore because he crawled over a nail and it left him in a lot of pain. So can you see I used some of my question in my answer. It said, why did Sid not want to be a postman anymore? I will say, Sid did not want to be a postman anymore because he crawled over a nail and it left him in a lot of pain. Question number four. What did Sid decide to do after he stopped being a postman? Let's have a look in our text to see where we can find that. Ah, next he decided to become a sailor. So the question said, what did Sid decide to do after he stopped being a postman? After Sid was a postman, he decided to become a sailor. After Sid was a postman, he decided to become a sailor. Now, true or false? Remember, true is yes. And false is no. Sid was a garden snail. Let's check in our text. Ah, the last line said, he would be most happy just being a garden snail. So, was Sid a garden snail? It is true. Sid was a garden snail. So, the, that answer, number five, is true. There we go, it is true. True or false? Sid found a bright green boat and climbed inside it. Now, was it really a bright green boat? Let's check. He found a pale green boat and climbed inside it. So, was it a bright green boat? No, it wasn't. Sid found a bright green boat and climbed inside it. Is that true? No, it's false. The last one, at sea, a whale's splash covered Sid in water. Is that true or false? Let's check. At sea, he saw an enormous whale who created a gigantic wave with his tail. Sid was covered in water when the waves splashed over his boat. Yes, you're right. It is true. So at sea, a whale splash covered Sid in water. That's very, very true. So children, just to recap, to remember again how to do a comprehension. Step number one, read through the story carefully. Step number two, read through all the questions. Step number three, read the whole story again. And step number four, answer the questions by reading the question, then look for the answer in the story. Be sure to answer the question in full 
sentences. And I want to say that I am so proud of you. Thank you for answering with me today and saying all the correct answers. I am very proud of you. And remember, if it's your birthday, I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Enjoy every minute. So from me, Mrs. Greenwood, thank you for watching the lesson that was brought to you by WorksheetCloud.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.